What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we had one end goal and that was to make just any amount of money and we completely failed to do so. I say we, I mean I completely failed to do so. I had the bright idea of trying to deliver a load of firewood to dude bro, knowing that he wasn't actually at his house. And I now know, thanks to a lot of you, that we won't ever be getting paid for having done that. So, that's nice. The only good thing to come out of the previous episode was that we were actually able to locate a few more of those tow jobs that we've been after. So, I think what I want to do today is just try to actually tow those back to Fleetari so we could make a little bit of money doing that. And so many of you guys had suggested that maybe we just use the poop truck to tow all those vehicles instead of trying to use the van. I realize the van is not very powerful, so we probably wouldn't have been able to tow any of them. Actually, that's not true. We can use this one to tow uh, the Model T. I was kind of thinking we might be able to actually use the poop truck for its intended purpose, which would be draining out people's um, septic tanks. But by the looks of our tank back there, it's pretty well full or just about to be. So I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to empty even a full septic tank, but I do think we'll try at least one house here in town and maybe we'll get lucky. Otherwise, I don't know, we'll probably have to dump it somewhere. We can't dump it here because he's only open Monday through Friday. I'm pretty sure, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but um, I'm almost positive that that's the case. Let's just try to turn this bad boy over. I'm just going to use the hand throttle so I don't have to actually, you know, use the, the throttle input on my controller. And uh, we'll start to increase the air pressure in this tank. Then we can set off for the day. You know what? I kind of forgot that the rally was still happening today. So hopefully using the truck on these, uh, on these back roads, these dirt roads, isn't going to be a huge mistake. But we're going to try it anyways. So we'll just back in here. This will be the first house that we'll try to drain the septic tank of and then after that we'll see about um you know doing some of these tow jobs with the truck i'm sure you can probably tell from the sound of my voice but i'm still not really feeling a hundred percent but we're not gonna let that slow us down whatsoever we've got we've got work to do we've got money to make here what's going on my man how you doing today just having what does he have in his hand he's got a dart and a brewski what a legend that's a great way to spend your Saturday morning, I suppose. All right, we'll get this hose chucked as far into the septic tank as we possibly can. One more, that's probably good enough. Now we just have to go back up to the front and uh, start the, the sucky sucky. Let's first just increase our idle RPM just till about like 15, a little over 15 is probably not gonna hurt. And then we can activate the hydraulic pump. It's very stinky, so our character's kind of mad about it. But I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we can empty this whole thing without actually filling the, um, the tank of the poop truck. I would say we're maybe halfway now, so let's go have a look at the, at the pump over here. And we'll see. We might just be able to do it. At least the one, which would be fantastic. There is another house uh, right over there that also has a full septic tank but I think we're only gonna be able to do just the one today, unfortunately. But hey, that's some money, right? And that's really what we're after. We're down to 6,200 bucks, and we need quite a bit more if we're gonna get the roll cage, if we're gonna get all the other rally stuff, rally suspension, rally tires, maybe even some rally uh, rims as well. But yeah, it's, it's very expensive stuff, and we just have no money for that right now. Okay, it's, it's maybe not looking so hot for us, Let's check the pump again. I think it's about full. Oh, dude, we're gonna be cutting it real close here. There we go, there we go. Very happy with this. Here's your money, 1,200 marks, you guys. We love it. So that puts us up to 7,400 bucks. Let's hop back in the cab here. And then we need to disable the hydraulic pump and set our idle back down to where it should be, around like the, the five mark there. Temperature is fine this time around, so we didn't have it idling too high to um, cause any weird temperature spikes or anything of the sort. So, 
Let's yank the old hose on out of here. Put it back up on the truck. And we'll be on our way. We'll see if we can actually use this thing to uh, tow some of these tow jobs. I know they're not actually called tow jobs. They're just wrecked vehicles. But it's just, it's kind of a meme at this point. All right. Back up in the cab and away we go. I think I'm actually going to make a quick hit stop over at the waste treatment facility again. Just so we can hop in the van really quick and grab that one bag of chips that we have in there because odds are as we're running around today we'll probably get pretty hungry looks like we're already getting fairly thirsty so we'll definitely have to address our stats here before too long just how full is the tank now almost max capacity dude that's pretty crazy but we've acquired our chip bag so i think we're ready to set off once again we're gonna wear our seat belt though you know just in case Oh my God, dude, where am I even going? I am so out of it today. Okay, I know now that we actually need to stop for these dudes. I'm pretty sure I was speeding though. So we might actually just start over completely. Hang on, hang on, I'm about to drift into the cop car. That would not be ideal. Okay, I've, I've stopped. Now what, do I just have to get out? Do I need to talk to you? You again. Well, I do not have a clean blow tube this time, but I'm sure that won't bother you. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine, actually. Give alcohol tests. Go ahead. Go 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 ahead. You can you can do it now. I didn't know you had to hold it. How am I? Good? Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Appreciate it. I guess I wasn't speeding. Oh, good lord. Okay, I could have gotten smoked very, very easily. But yeah, I'm um, I'm actually not even supposed to be on this road right now. We should have actually gone on the back roads, like with the rally dude bro bras. So I'm just going to turn this thing around and um, we'll make our way over there. Oh yeah, the parking brake, of course. I actually think it might be late enough in the day now to where we shouldn't have to worry about the rally dude bro bras. I'm pretty sure that we're in the clear, actually. I have no idea what time it actually is, but we just need to pull up close to this and smash out the barn doors once again. Okay, we've got, we've got one of them. Let's actually go into low gear. There we go. Make things a little bit easier for us. Smash the other one out if we can. Come on. Oh, dude, my controller just died. You're joking. All right, I will go get a new battery and I'll be right back. All right, you know what the problem here is? The front of the truck is just too flat. So no matter if I try to go at an angle or whatever, it's just not going to smash out that other part of the door. Could I just hit the thing from the inside maybe? Let's try to punch it. No, that's that's not gonna work. Anyways, let's grab the tow rope from the front here. And we'll just try to hook this thing up. Maybe if we're trying to tow it out, we'll be able to knock out that last little panel there. Also, um, so off camera, sometimes I'll have to, you know, come back into the game just so I can get a thumbnail. While I was doing that with the van, I came all the way out here. I got my thumbnail. I didn't actually end up using this one. But I was just kind of upset at this point. So I was mobbing through the woods, you know, in the van, as you do. And I happened to find there's actually another wreck right over there. So if we can pull this one out, that'll be the next one that we hit up. We're getting very, very thirsty now, though. So we're probably going to have to hurry this along. Let's see if we can just tow this thing right on out. Okay, well, we were able to get the other door to fall but the tow rope definitely snapped. So let's actually just turn right around. Obviously we're not gonna tow the vehicle all the way back to Fleetaris from the front of the truck. So we'll hook it up from the rear and we'll make our way over to that other wreck. All right, we just need to keep an eye on that mirror right there. Looks like we're gonna be towing it out, no problem. We will be towing it though on its roof. So hopefully it'll tip over and maybe it'll be a little bit easier to tow once it's on 
well, there are no wheels. I think there's one wheel. But you know what I'm saying. Once it's on, like, the frame, it might slide a little bit easier. The roof, not really doing so hot. But just up at the top of this hill right here. See if we can do three low. Okay, that is a much larger hill than I initially thought. We'll just kind of go around here. No big deal. And look who it is. It's the um, very, very wrecked Satsuma GT, which is cool because we've actually been sort of waiting to uh, to get that center console from this thing. So let's hop on out. Oh, the spare too. I forgot about the spare that comes with it. We'll grab the spare, put that up in the truck. We're not like really gonna need that ever, but it's cool that we have another piece for the Satsuma. But this thing, dude, the GT center console and like, uh, gear stick, gear shifter, whatever you want to call it. That's very sick. Okay, I hear some bumping music. Looks like maybe the ricochet driver just made his way over that direction. I'm curious now, though, and we've got the Swoboda driver as well. Coming down. There they go. Light skater. Anywho, I'm hoping we're going to be able to, like, daisy chain these things together. Let's see if we could bring another tow rope from the rear of this one. Ooh. Okay, it's not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we can. We're probably gonna die of thirst, but that's cool. And somehow I unhooked that. Cool. Okay, so maybe we can't daisy chain them together because I think, I think when I was just trying to do that, it actually disconnected the other rope. Let's test it, I guess, with this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so we're going to have to do them one at a time. Not a huge deal. We'll just take the uh, the Satsuma GT. Because I think that one might actually cost a little bit more than that. Or it's the other way around. Either way, we're going to be coming back. But let's get a move on as soon as we put the parking brake down again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived with our first tow job. Oh no, dude. I, I got stuck like trying to go up a hill in high gear as well. All right, and I might actually be getting stuck behind Fleetaris now, which would not be good. You know what? We'll leave it in this little ditch. Not even worried about it. Not even worried about it in the slightest bit. But let's disconnect this thing and uh, we'll try to be on our way. This thing's like freaking out though. Remove that, okay, we'll hop back in the truck and it's on to the next location. I guess instead of saying on to the next location, I should have just said, and back to the same location we just came from because that's where this vehicle is now. So let's hook that back up and back to Fleetaris. Tell you one thing, the poop truck does not like towing vehicles up hills, like whatsoever. It was very, very mad, and I'm almost positive that I'm stuck again. Took me a little while to get out of this predicament earlier, so that's good. Glad that this has happened. You know what? We're probably fine, though, to at least drop that vehicle here. Let's turn the beacon on. Or wait, rear working lights. That's what we need. Check that out. Now we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, that makes sense. I'm actually hung up on another wrecked vehicle, not just the little ditch here. All right, we'll just unhook it from the back of the truck. I can't really see much of anything right now, so a bit of a challenge. There we go. All right, we've been disconnected. You know what? Let's just sleep here. We can actually sleep in the, in the cab of the poop truck if I could just get up into the cab again. 
All right, we'll try the other side. That's fine. Or maybe we won't just get in on the other side. This side seems like it's too high up, and this side seems like it's too low. So it's just not letting me get in the cab. There we go. There we go. If I just jump, if I just jump, we can do it. Going to sleep. Please. Thank you. Alrighty. We're good. Everything's fine. Come morning time, we'll actually be able to see what's going on, and hopefully we just spawn in the cab. Beautiful. Now we have to do is just try to get this thing unstuck. I mean, there's no shot we're gonna be able to, like, push it or roll it over with our hands, so we pretty much just have to power it on out of here. We'll loop around to the front of Fleetari's, and we'll see if he's open yet this morning. So hopefully we can claim a little bit of money yet again for just those two wrecks that we've already dropped off. Oh yeah, the rally's going on again today too. Okay, we're gonna have to just get out of the road here because otherwise we'll get smoked by one of those rally cars. We'll park in Dude Bro's driveway just across the street. Should be fine, we're not gonna be too long here. It's a little past noon, so he should be open. Oh wait, he's only open Monday through Friday as well, isn't he? Fantastic. Well, we're about to be very, very thirsty again. So I guess we'll hop back in the truck. We'll make our way back into town and uh, we'll just, we'll grab the van instead. Not this again, dude. We just did this yesterday. You've got to be kidding me. Well, we'll stop for you. I know we're supposed to do it, so here we are. Parking brake. Wait, do the other drivers not stop? Here's a dude with a camper. They don't have to stop. Okay, this to me, this to me now seems like discrimination. All right, what's the deal? What's the deal, huh? Yeah, we did not get our driver's license from a cereal box. We just didn't. Thanks to you, though, I might actually die of dehydration. What? What is this about? Okay, I can click this. Speeding. We got caught speeding. This is probably equal to the amount that we're going to get for um, delivering all of these wrecked vehicles to Fleetari. So that's cool. We're basically not even making any progress, you guys. God, this is so annoying. I didn't think I was speeding. I was going just as fast this time as I was the last time that we came through there, but that's fine. So far today, we've actually lost money. We're now down to just $4,500. So I really hope we can actually make a decent amount of money from uh, those tow jobs from Fleetari. But we'll grab a drink here. We'll go pick up the van again. And then I think all we have left is that Model T. We just have to bring that to Fleetari. Um, we'll probably have to wait until the next day though if we wanna get paid, so. We might do a little fast forwarding here. The next morning. All right, it is now Monday morning. We did the old save, quit, come back, save, quit, come back. So you like fast forward two hours every time you do that. Just to make sure we could actually make some money today. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the van, head over to nearby grandma's house so we can pick up the Model T. We'll then just drag that thing all the way over to Fleetari's. And hopefully by the time we get there, he'll be open and we can claim our money. We'll make a quick pit stop, of course, at the mailbox since it is Monday. Let's see what we got. Anything good? Just the electric company. Hey, but that's pretty inexpensive though. Only 96 marks. It's really not too bad. try to get old girl hooked up here somewhere around here I know there's a tow rope location oh you know what it was on the rear of this one wasn't it 
There we go. Okay, it might pull a little awkwardly, but I'm trusting you guys. All of you that, that told me we could actually tow the Model T with the van. So, hopefully you're right. So far, it's not looking so hot. I want to give a massive shout out to all of you that said that this would be feasible. Thanks to you, I've been stuck here for the past like 15 minutes just trying to get this thing out of here and it's not going to work. It's, it's just not going to work. Honestly, I think manually rolling it end over end all the way to Fleetari's would be faster than trying to use the van to tow this thing. But I'm going to try one last thing here, one last ditch effort. And that is if we can just get this thing to the main road, maybe it'll tow better there. Please work. Please work. I really don't want to go all the way back to the house just to get the tractor. Come on, dude. Many, many minutes later. You know, it's days like today where I really, really miss the modded series. Because back then we could just no clip fly around whenever we wanted any time that we got stuck somewhere, or in this case, had to make our way all the way back home just so we could swap vehicles. But we finally got the tractor. We're gonna just stick in low gear, and hopefully by the time we get to Fleetari's, he'll still be open. This better be worth it, you guys. We've been at this for a little over three hours and we've actually only lost money. So hopefully Fleetari has the fattest stack of cash we've ever seen. What do we got? Here's some money for it. 6,400 marks. Thank you, Fleetari. That puts us up to 10,899 marks in total. And that is where we're gonna wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.